Ever heard David Beckham speak? It's like he mouth sexed a can of helium. Think Ryan Reynolds got this far on his superior acting method? Love is blind, Wade. No. You're blind. So you're just gonna lie there and whimper? No, I'm gonna wait till this arm plows through puberty and then I'm gonna come up with a whole new Christmas Day plan. In the meantime, you might want to leave the room. I bet it feels huge in this hand. No. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Welcome to the Fortress of Darkness, the nerdy nexus for all your geeky needs. I'm your host, Chris Doop Viloup. Prepare, O oh viewers, to learn about a large, green, gelatinous blob that is neither Slimer nor Bob. Cliff Notes is, of course, taking a look at Marvel Comics. What's a dupe? Dupe is a small green thing created by Peter Milligan and Mike Allred in 2001. He's usually connected with Ecstatic and X-Force and recently took up a fac factuality, factu faculty position. His powers include pretty much everything you can imagine. Hell, he's still revealing powers we don't know about. Like his pimples can create timeless wormholes. Yeah, that's a thing. If only I had that in high school. Stupid bullies. Dupe also speaks his own language, titled Dupe Speak, a language that remained untranslated for 13 years until this convenient chart. And shortly thereafter, he learned English. So what was the point? Dupe's origins are difficult to pinpoint. According to Cap, Dupe was developed as a weapon to counter the Soviet threat by the US government. Allegedly, he managed to do this successfully and ended communism in the Soviet Union. A floating snot ended communism. Well, time to reevaluate our lives. None of this explains how he has a mother and allegedly a family. Somewhere between this point and today, he met and befriended the living jacked man known as Wolverine. Dupe eventually joined the newly formed version of X-Force as the team's videographer. The purpose of this version of the team was to create a group of celebrity mutant heroes and Dupe's filming skills were an A+. He would film the team meticulously, catching every moment, good or bad, including El Guapo's threesome, which destroyed his relationship with his girlfriend. So just take the good with the bad? He once had a pimple that when popped, sucked in all his team into another dimension. He picked at it, ew, gross gross, and launched himself in to rescue his team. No one remembered this event after it happened, as in reality, only a split second had passed. Unfortunately, You Go Girl is killed, and they are rebranded as ecstatic, as per You Go Girl's dying words. Dupe eventually became the most popular member of the team, being plastered on all their promotional material and merchandising. As the team tried to replace their dead members, Mutant Corkscrew was brought on the team as part of a number of tryouts. However, Corkscrew proved to be highly unstable, killing another of the candidates, and Corkscrew's faith was left in Dupe's hands. He was told to take care of it, and take care of it he did. Dupe took Corkscrew happily camping out in the woods, and hacked him up with an axe while mentally tormenting him. Dupe also fell in love with and had an affair with a married woman. Her husband hired a PI named Chandler to tail them. Chandler ended up falling in love with him, and Dupe cheated on the woman with the detective? Later, Dupe's brain exploded and the parts scattered across the planet in a desperate bid to control Dupe, which I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but sure. Ecstatic and the Avengers race each other to collect the pieces. Dupe, functioning on his convenient backup brain, fights Thor to a standstill. Impressed with Ecstatic, the Avengers allow them to have Dupe's brain back. Happy times and celebrations were to be had. Until all of Ecstatic, including Dupe, are gunned down and killed on their final mission. Remember what I said about good with bad? Some time later, Polaris and Havoc were having a good time in Costa Rica. I own an island off the coast of Costa Rica. Until they ran into a familiar green creature that fell from space. Due to its similarity to Dupe, they named it 
dap. Havok blasts it, causing it to split apart, but it reforms and shoots back into space. It's unknown whether it was Dupe himself, a distant cousin, or maybe a Havana fever dream. Speaking of, Dupe next appeared during the events of Nation X, investigating some bad happens in Utopia. He is attacked by the X-Men, but it's revealed this was all just a dream, and Dupe is shacked up with a girl somewhere in reality? How he came back from the dead? Mm -hmm. Eventually, Cyclops and Wolverine break up, and Logan pulls an out of character because popular and leaves to create the Jean Grey School for Higher Learning. Dupe is hired as the school receptionist. Though his activities at the school are shady, to say the least, his actual role is the pseudo be all end all defense against attacks aimed toward the school. He's currently having an affair with Warbird. Dupe is. Dupe is weird. He's basically Marvel's Slimer. I mean, look at him. In his wee little boots. Given how odd he is, his only other media appearance was in the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon episode Back in Black, and it was a cameo. That being said, this little guy is one of the most mysterious and powerful beings in the Marvel Universe, and we can't confirm any of this which is canon. That's all we have for today. Leave your comments in dupe speak so we don't have to read them. Please like, subscribe, and follow us into the dimensional pimple in our forehead. This has been Cliff Notes. I'm Christian Villarreal, and you've been watching The Fortress of Darkness.